Hey everybody, Michelle here with Battlefords and Lloydminster Fit Body Bootcamp. Just here at my Battlefords location. Um, the noon crew is gone and uh, office admins working really hard in there. And so I just thought I'd take this opportunity to come out and shoot a little video about fairness. Um, because that's actually come up in our challenge, um, transformation challenge this week uh, by a challenger who was, who was just a little... Um, disappointed with her own success and comparing her to other people and how fair it was that um, other people were releasing weights and they weren't um, how fair it is that you know she has a husband that cooks and I don't we we're just talking about that in the office as well and so you know life is not fair um, life is always going to there's always going to be somebody thinner prettier taller longer legs makes more money drives a nicer car has a better job you know, um, there's always going to be people who in your mind um, have better things, do better things um, than you do. And that's what comparing does. Comparing um, leaves you frustrated and disappointed, um, sad, and sometimes really defeated, right? Um, she lost five pounds this week, I only lost one, I'm done. It's not fair, right? We all have different body types, we all have different home situations, we all have different fitness levels, we all react differently to food, we have different metabolisms. No, maybe it's not fair, but it is the way it is. So so take a look at your patterning. Do you do you always run away when things get tough and don't go your way? Or do you decide to try to solve that problem? Find a solution that will work for you. It may not even be any close um, the solution that that other person is using, but that's okay. We're all different and we're all going to react differently. Also keep in mind that our perceptions are huge. So how we perceive, um, how we perceive a, um, a situation or an issue or what people are going through may not even be the actual truth. Maybe she lost five pounds because she really focused in on her food. She made sure she was prepped. She got to boot camp three, four times a week. Um, she, she worked on her stress level. She got enough sleep. It didn't just happen, right? It didn't just happen. Um, so then you have to turn around and take a look at what you're doing, not comparing, but looking at what you're doing. If you're not happy with where you are in your life, in your fitness goals, um, in your job, in um, you know your relationships, then you need to take a look at what you can change and understand that life isn't always going to be fair. It's not always going to give you what you want. That's where the lessons come from. The lessons actually that we learn in life come from the hard times. They come from the things that we have to stop and take a look at and figure out whether we like it or not. But there's usually always a lesson after the hardship and those are the things that make you strong. I always say that in the, when a couple is having a disagreement um, and uh, you know they have to work really hard at the relationship, that's what's going to make them strong because they know they can survive it. Um, if you're having a, a difficult time with your with your fitness levels, then you that gives you the opportunity to say, okay stop, what, what am I doing that's not working? Am I fully committed? Am I adding in little cheats here and there? Did I go to boot camp, you know, the three, four, five times a week that I usually go? Uh, where's, where, where's my thinking? Where's my stinking thinking? Um, am I comparing myself to others and feeling a little bit defeated? So why bother? Um, life's always going to throw us ups and downs. Always, always, always. So take a look at your pattern. Do you run when it gets tough or do you pit in, solve one problem at a time, not 12, and then focus in, focus in, focus in, and, and get the job done to the best of your ability. And if something doesn't work, it's not a mistake. It is just a lesson, and you get to learn from it and try something new. So, so take a look at that. No, life is not fair, um, but uh, you, know, you have to take a look at what you're doing, what you're thinking. Um, the term that Sierra Bender used with us is, what are you doing, why are you doing it, and how's that working for you? Take a look, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? And how's that working? If it's not working, then you need to change something. So have a great afternoon.